Hi baby, how you doing? Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be channeling messages from your neighbors. <laughs> okay, we are going to see what your neighbors think about you. Especially in terms of you as your neighbor. And it may be a little bit of you as a person. But this is more of looking into your relationship with people you live with the people around you okay because your home is a very very important environment and contributes immensely to your energetic field if you're in a very safe loving place you'll be able to also ground better into your energy you'll be able to settle into peace you'll be able to ascend because you can only ascend from a place of grounding there are three that's for you to choose from so i invite you to close your eyes take a very nice deep breath and focus on the images you can see okay and go with the one that resonates the most with you if two resonate with you then watch two if one resonates with you watch one but three shouldn't necessarily resonate with you except you come back to watch them at three different times then or two different times then that means you're ascending through the energetic fields available i'm going to be channeling messages from three different collectives okay and their neighbors at this time what do your neighbors think about you okay and i'm going to let's see what spirit is going to be revealing about these relationships and also looking at how you can also improve your relations with your neighbors okay if there's anything to be repaired or improved upon all right my love so there are three decks i'm going to be starting off with deck one okay all right baby so if you choose deck one this deck if you choose deck one first thing that jumped out when i was um choosing the cards the decks for this region for you the one there's something about your neighbors thinking so i'm seeing i'm feeling two energies right now okay so there's something about them liking you may not know it but there's something about the way you spend or the the way you are rich you're wealthy okay there's something about your wealth the way you use things the way you are considerate with using the things if you live in a, if you live in an apartment building or in an estate with common use areas you're very careful of how it's you're very careful with how you use things there's also something about them loving the fact that you are not miserly with your money but you also know how to save a lot there's something about them seeing you as being very financially wise for some of you your neighbors might have approached you like for you to share some financial advice or to give them some investment advice especially if you play in the financial or investment insurance field there's something about them coming to you and getting advice around finances because they appreciate the way you're very careful around money matters so you pay your rent you pay your due you pay your your levies, your community fees, you pay everything on time, but they also see you splurge when you want to splurge, but they also know that. So it's like they look at you like, okay, this person actually has a lot more than they show. So it's not like you're showing off money, you're showing off wealth. No, they realize that you actually have a lot more than you show. And they, that kind of like, gives them like okay this person is a good vibe person i feel like this good vibe energy from you for some of them they really would just want to ask like how are you doing it? how are you able to save how are you able to do things for some of you also would live like in a rented apartment your neighbors or maybe your landlords or your caretakers and they appreciate the way you take care of your home your surroundings the way you make sure that everything is well preserved the way you're very good renter <laughs> okay the way you're very good renter the way you take care of things even though it doesn't necessarily belong to you even though you're renting it they see the care you dedicate to these things and this makes them feel good because you're taking care of these things like they are yours okay and this makes them feel really good now if you're also in this collective there's something about for you for you guys that have kids there's something about the way you take care of your children that your neighbors appreciate okay so while other parents you might be in a 
community set in a way parents are not necessarily like intentional but you are very intentional with how you take care of your children how you care for them um, what you spend on their education their looks their health there's just something about how you take care of your children that they find very interesting and they find very appreciated for some of you they might also be asking questions like oh your child how did you get them to study how did you get them to look that way how did you get them to you know look that good how do you take care of their health there's just something around them seeing you as someone who has like a special storage of ideas of interest of things to do that work for you so it's not like you just have the ideas these are things you do yourself that work for you and they see like it works for you you're living your life on a very good plane you mind your business you you focus on your you focus on your business you focus on your own but you're also you are well to do that's the thing you are well to do but you don't flaunt it so they say that you have more than enough so that also makes them respect you that also makes them they are intrigued by you like how is this person how does this person make their money they know you have the money even if you're not necessarily flaunting it or being loud about it they can smell it of you there's just something about they are intrigued by how is this person making their money all right let's see what else are your neighbors thinking about them for this collector okay so for some of you you guys might have had conversations before maybe you've had like events where you went or you attended with your neighbors and in those events they were able to also see another side of you and for some of them they look back on these memories with fondness for some of you you've also like there's something about the way you you take care of yourself, you take care of your own, you take care of your children, but you also take care of like people around you. They see you not taking sides with bullies, they see you standing up for truth, stand being very just, being very orderly. You know, just the kind of neighbor everybody wants. <laughs> That's it. Kind of neighbor everybody wants. You're not you're not rowdy, you're not raucous, you're not disturbing, you don't create your raucous. They just see they actually want to emulate a lot of these positive qualities you have about you and for some of them even though they want to step up to have a conversation with you there's something about maybe there could be language barriers or they just they are not they are not sure if you'll be open to this because as i said you're someone who minds your business your money you focus on your business you focus on your grind you focus on your money you just focus on your shit okay you do what if you need to do things in the neighborhood in your building you attend to it but you don't cross your boundaries you stay within your you stay within your boundaries literally okay so they see you as someone who is very who they would love to know more about who is very caring as i said you guys might have attended events in the past with some of your neighbors and then they have pictures and videos they look back on <laughs> They have picked them and make it like you don't delete on this microphone. They have pictures and videos they look back on with fond memories. Maybe in those events you showed up in a way that in a way that also made them realize that oh this person actually has more than their flaunt. This person is actually a quiet, rich person in our midst. That kind of vibe, okay? But there's something about them looking past that um pictures and videos of you or them in of you with them in if in an event in an event and then being like just awed by do we able to go with the flow do we able to integrate yourself with them okay so they really like you they really like having you around they feel very comfortable around you you as i said you are not a troublesome neighbor <laughs> you're not a troublesome neighbor so they like that they like that you contribute to the quiet and peace of the neighborhood by you know doing your own things quietly you know overstepping your boundaries but also respecting yourself like there's just something about they just love the way you respect yourself do we you maintain your boundaries and if some of them could they would love to strike up friendship with you but there's just something about maybe they don't know how you're going to take it if you're going to be open to this or if or if and you guys may actually be gossiping about you but the gossip is as i said the gossip is more of a 
she has a good way it's like they're curious about you but they can't come up to you they can't approach you so they will talk about you like oh this person that person but because they can't approach you they can't verify their claims but what they are saying about you is good as i said you mind your business you focus on what you focus on what brings you joy you don't pay attention to others you go about your way if you leave your house you go straight you don't you know you don't gossip you actually don't gossip with them so there's just something very intriguing and mysterious about you they know that you've never held back your rent you've never been late on your rent your maintenance fees your service charges none of those you pay what you need to pay on time your bills paid utilities paid like so that has gotten them very curious very you know intrigued like who is this person who is this person with this person and i see you being someone who is not exactly frugal but you know how to manage your coins you know how to preserve your coins there's also something here around you um you might have lived in this neighborhood for about two years but there's something about you maybe choosing you chose this neighborhood because you you are looking at maybe you are currently living in a neighborhood that you you could have lived in a wealthier yeah. Or more expensive place but you choose where you are because you're working on maybe you're working on building something you're working on pulling together investments so you're being very intentional with how much you pay with on rent your mortgage and stuff like that but there's something about you living where you are not because so that's also something your neighbors say they feel like you could have lived in a more expensive suburb or in a more expensive building or pay more rent or stuff like that they see you able to afford these things we is you're able to do other things we is so they also feel like you have a lot more saved away but i see like maybe you made the decision to live in this neighborhood because you're working on an investment you're pulling together your money to be able to put it into something that will generate returns for you on the long term so you are realizing like maybe where you live is a liability and then you're pulling together your investment to be able to build an asset okay to be able to build an asset there's something about lightning coming through you guys might have you might okay so what i'm also saying is like you may be quite different in your neighborhood as well you may be quite different in your neighborhood as well you like you take people by surprise they don't expect like you it's kind of like you shock them into reality or you shock them into their senses maybe for some like you've had conversations with there's something about maybe the things you said and how you put it it's like shocked them into reality like oh wow you you make people see the other side of things you make them see like okay there are things beyond the box but there's something about you being a shocking presence so it's the way you do things the things you do how you do them who you are those things are kind of like expository what i'm saying is like it's expository it's different it brings that shock value it's like it sends shock waves into your neighborhood when you do things and before you know it you become the talk of town you really don't know but they do gossip about you a lot but as i was trying to say the gossip is not exactly from a mean place it's more of just their curiosity <laughs> because they cannot approach you to ask these questions directly so they talk about it like oh this person i think this is what they do i think blah, 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 blah. that's the basis of the gossip but on the overall there's just this good vibes goodwill good energy um i see you working on your assets working on your coins okay so i'm going to tell you keep focusing don't get distracted now that you're in a safe place because some of you might have been living in this place for about two years okay but there's something about two years yeah so for some of you maybe you might also live in this place for two more years while you continue to build up your assets while you continue to gather pull your resources together okay all right my love confirmatory spirit is saying i should give you like confirmatory you guys might be saying if you are seeing this video you might be seeing three three eight 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 three eight 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 and three there's also something about them expecting it to maybe have changed but it's like since you moved into the neighborhood you've always been the same like you're not noisy you're quiet 
you maintain your boundaries you pay up your dues they've just seen you being the same across time and this has become very reassuring for them okay the song that came through was <laughs> since i was born and now i am old i have never seen my lord change it change it change it dun, 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 dun change it it may also be someone that likes dancing and your neighbors know you like dancing so maybe like for some of you, you went to this event and you danced with them and like that's what they look back on with fond memories or they've seen you dancing there's something about dance being significant here okay all right my love so if you choose the one that's what your neighbors are thinking about you that's what they think about you that's what they're thinking about you and I'm feeling pulled to pull in an affirmation card. I'm pulled to pull in an affirmation card to round up your reading. All right, that's the final message for deck one. Final message for deck one. Yeah. Okay. Raise your vibration is a mantra that calls me to light up. Okay, so it's also like there's something about your neighbors noticing when you're happy because you kind of like you express your joy, so they like that about you. You could be so always expressive, but also stoic and reserved. You don't cross your boundaries, you keep yourself to yourself, but you keep yourself to your family, you keep yourself to your boundaries, to your own. But there's just something about you also not be told. Okay, so there's something about you not be told. For some of you, you might have also like maybe spoken to some people in your neighborhood and you've kind of like raised, maybe you met them when they were in a depressive state and you kind of like inspired and motivated and encouraged them. And this is something that's like gone around <laughs> the neighborhood that you actually don't know. There's something about you not being aware of this, okay? So it's like people see you as someone who can, when the mood is low, someone who can help others like raise their mood or you've just been very kind to another neighbor when they needed like some support and encouragement and you're able to share some words with them and this has gone around the neighborhood okay all right my love say so if you the coin that's what your neighbors think about you ciao come back to my page wherever you may be watching this from so if you choose six deck deck two here's what your neighbors think about you of the bat when i was pulling out the decks what came out was you guys might love animals or um you have pets but your neighbors think like you're someone who loves animals they see you as an animal lover okay because it was uh, they see you as an animal lover so you might love animals in your neighborhood maybe you feed animals in your neighborhood or you actually own pets you own pets in your own okay so you've got endurance patience career all right so what i'm being what i'm seeing is in your neighborhood you're someone who is positioned as a leader you also see you're someone who is very enduring you maybe like people have tried to raise allegations i'm hearing like maybe people have tried to raise allegations against you and then in the end you were justified some of you might have also contested for like community leadership um town or representative community leader things like that there's something about you volunteering or being or being seen as a leader in your community being the ones like get people's try to like direct direct how the situation is going changes to be instituted in your community okay so yeah someone who is they see you as a leader in the community they see you as a pillar of the community they see you as someone who is also patient as i said you might have faced allegations insults tribulations in the past like maybe people just looking all out going all out to look for your trouble saying some shit accusing you of some things and then you were enduring improving your you're enduring improving your it's like your metal was being tested and you're enduring improving your integrity you were patient okay you even in the end even when the truth came to light about maybe some people were like smeared your name or tried to like there's something very strong about you guys maybe 
um, contesting for community leadership, contesting for community leadership, contesting for community rules. There's something about you being very, maybe in, throughout that process, some people try to like smear your name, maybe there's a smear campaign about you, and then in the end, when the election concluded and you and the results were announced, you figured out, uh, you finally found out the people who were behind the smear campaign, but you didn't judge them. So that's something. You guys didn't judge them. You were just very, you didn't judge them, but you saw them for who they were, but you also didn't, they were expecting you to like maybe do some backlash maybe it's through some hatred enmity and discord and all of those but you ref you decided not to partake in that and you pulled back your energy you just focused on being the best leader so i see as being even this community leadership pro is something you want to do because you are very determined you have a vision you have a vision of how your neighborhood should be what how we should be safe how we should be secure like the amenities the features the social facilities that should be present to your neighborhood those are the things you have envisioned and that's why you're taking up this role so maybe people raise a smack and be like oh no you're trying to get the role because you're trying to build your political powers or maybe because you're trying to um embezzle some money maybe they just set all sort of shit and crap you issue but you can you prove them wrong in the end and at this point in time people are like they're in all that they're inspired by that they're inspired by your actions they're inspired by your vision so now it's also time for you to just focus on ensuring that ensuring that you don't get swayed because people as you now as you've seen so it's like you went through this process this it's period of people it's near you and in the end you came out people accusing you of things and in the end you came out to be very innocent your innocence was made very public for everybody to see so now you also have to be very careful moving forward now you can see what people are capable of now you can see what they can get to and you might be like but this is just for maybe just community leader or street representative or uh, building building rep, building rep <laughs> you'll be surprised like why did they have to do all of that why did they it's like you be for you you're thinking like the role yeah the role is important but the enmity was out of proportion but um you've been a very patient person so i'm just going to so your neighbors are already seen so this reading is into it so yes i'm picking all of that up from your neighbors but the spirit is also coming through to tell me to tell you that you should also stay focused now you've gone through this try this strife tribulation to get to this point don't get distracted because there are people who are waiting to see you I don't want to necessarily fall down or pull you down. You don't get distracted by what you're trying to do. Stay patient. It's very important for you to be very adaptable. A lot of things you've you've thought about, like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get this done in a certain way. I'm going to I'm going to get this done in a certain way. I'm going to go about it in this way. It may not necessarily play out that way. So you're being guided to be very adaptable at this time. You have adaptability and lightness come out twice, okay? So you've got the human bed lightness. It is time for you to pursue your dreams with determination. By doing this, you'll make them a reality. Joy is just around the corner. But you have to believe that it is possible to manifest your visions. Stop waiting and doubting. Then you also got dragonfly. Adaptability. It is reminding you to bring a, more, a bit more lightness and joy into your life in order to bring about the changes needed to reach your full potential. Approach things lightly. Okay, so I'm seeing like maybe you guys having like town hall meeting and you suggesting something that you know. <laughs> I think that's the part that drives you crazy the most. You know you're doing this thing for it's going to benefit everybody, but you're just some thick headed people that don't agree with what you're trying to do so spirit is telling you at this time like that is also part of the journey being able to win over people being able to get people to your side being able to get people to buy into your vision even if they were short-sighted or narrow-minded or tunnel vision or narrow-minded even if they were short-sighted they could not see it 
that's part of the experience of being a leader, being able to get people to see things. And even if they don't see it, you still execute on his ideas. That's what I'm hearing. But don't try to forcefully make things or let things happen in your way. Understand that it's going to take some time for people to buy into what you're trying to do. It's going to take some time for you to convince others. It's going to take some time for you to for you to convince those, especially when they've got their minds made up, okay? So don't let it distract you from what you're trying to do. Stay focused on your vision, but be very adaptable and very light at your process of all this manifestation. Focus on the end result, but be open to the process of how the end result comes to you, okay? Yes, I'm going to be seeing badgers, tigers, cougars, hummingbird, eagles, dragonfly and sheep in different forms so i'm seeing like seeing them in videos seeing them in figurine form seeing them like pictures seeing pictures of them just for you to to remind you of these messages also to remind you of these messages as i said you guys are so wonderful you like pets your neighbors also say that you like pets okay so badgers Tigers, those are the animal spirits coming into our future this time. So badgers, tigers, cougars, human birds, eagles, dragonfly, and sheep. All right, so let's see. So also, there's something about maybe you wanting to introduce more social amenities that benefit the children in your neighborhood. Um, go ahead and do it, work on it. But there's also something here just being emphasized on the fact that don't take yourself too seriously. Don't take your leadership role too seriously. Your neighbors are looking out for you. There are people on your side, but it feels like there are more people who are doubting that you can do what you've said you'll do. Okay? So, Spirit is asking you at this time to approach your leadership, approach what you're trying to do, approach the ideas you're trying to execute from a childlike, playful, light, chase okay knowing that it may not always work out it might not always work out but because you've got a good vision you because you're trying to do good you know that it's still going to work out in the end even if it doesn't work out immediately it's still going to work out in the end okay it's still going to work out in the end um just be very light stay light don't take people's um, reactions to you. Don't take it to Ashley. Don't take it to art. Don't take their comments, their observations. Don't take it to art. Just smile your way through because, you know, don't worry. Like, I'm being told to reassure you that you're still going to have your way in the end. You're still going to have your way in the end. Don't worry about that. It's just that and make sure you enjoy yourself through the process because this role is not something you're going to have forever. It's just something that is going to be transient, okay? It's something that is going to be transient, but you don't want to now leave the role with nothing to show for it. And it's like if you try to force your way through, people are going to raise up obstacles and they're going to, they are going to like raise up obstacles that impede you from that raise up obstacles that impede you from being able to execute on your ideas, being able to execute on your vision, being able to get things done. Okay? So it's very essential for you to just go with the flow. Again, you've got to go with the flow. It's very essential for you to go with the flow. It's very essential for you to just flow through the process. If you suggest an idea and you guys take a vote and then more people are against it, don't stress yourself. You've already planted the seed. That's why you should trust. You've already planted the seed. What will be, will be. But don't try to force yourself like, oh, no, you can't be. No. Because what I'm saying is the more you force, the more you stress, the more you try to have things your way, the more obstacles are going to arise from these people. Okay? So you know what you want to do. Patience is going to be very essential. Being adaptable is going to be very essential. It's going to be very essential for you to stay focused, but be open to how this vision gets manifested. Okay? Be open to how this vision gets manifested. And lastly, go with the flow. All right? So you already know, like, I'm hearing, like, your neighbors are kind of like crazy people. <laughs> 
they're kind of like crazy people so it's like yeah it's almost like they're already preparing for you to try to force them to get things done like they're already waiting like they know that you're going to come upon them to force them so surprise them don't go in with force go in very gentle very free very playful very childlike with very childlike playfulness do you understand be confuse them with your playfulness <laughs> that is it confuse them with your playfulness and that way you get your way but if you try to be like no i'm the chairman of the community i'm the sports leader i'm the boo -boo -boo, i'm the building rep we have to do this with nah they will just keep on blocking you okay all right baby you've got this <laughs> If this video resonated with you, make sure you like and subscribe if you have it. I'm my love. How you doing? Okay, so in this video, we're going to be looking at what your neighbors think about you. What do you think about you? Alright, so if you choose deck three, here is your reading. If you choose deck one or deck two, Check the previous post or look at the timestamp, okay? If you choose deck three, guess what you need to know? What your neighbors think about you? Okay, so you guys might have like a copycat. <laughs> you might have a copycat. There's someone in your neighborhood who kind of like. This could be someone or a group of someone's. There's something about them maybe trying to copy the things you do, how you do it. They're trying to emulate you. There's something about them just seeing you as the news. And, and maybe you've been noticing this, and this video is going to give you confirmation. But what's also coming through is, it's like you've been noticing this and previously it used to get you upset. <laughs> but Spirit is telling me to tell you like, why are you getting upset? We should be proud and happy that people are trying to copy you. Okay, so there's something in the air about them seeing what you do, liking what you do, liking who you are, who you are what you wear. What you wear is quite significant. So you may feel like maybe they just copy what you do, what you wear, what you say, how you pack your hair, how you do your things. You may just feel like these persons are trying to copy you. And that had previously made you uncomfortable. But well, Spirit is saying there's nothing to be uncomfortable about. You should see it as you should be happy about it. You should be <laughs> not that you should be prideful, but you should be happy about it. At least it's something good they're copying. Okay, but I just you there's something about you serving as inspiration to the people in your neighborhood. Serving as inspiration to the people in your neighborhood. And they see you, they see like the things you do as a new way of doing things. It's like you introduce a new way of doing things into the community, into the neighborhood, and they see it, they like it, so they copy it. I have checked this. <laughs> You guys might also be saying 999 as well as 299. For some of you, your house numbers might be 29. 299 is just significant for you. Okay? So there's something about... Um, they also see you being very confident. That's something they like a lot. They like that about you. They like the fact that you're very confident. You're not afraid of anything. You're not afraid of doing things your way. You're not afraid of going in new ways. Yeah, I'm hearing daring. They show you as a daring person. You're not afraid of trying new things, new adventures, new ventures. So that's also where the emulation and inspiration and motivation is coming from, where you feel like they're trying to copy you. But it's like they see you. It's like they've pushed you higher than them. So they look at you and try to copy what you do okay they try to copy what you do so it's a good thing it's a good thing so okay so what i'm hearing is like you saying that oh why are they trying to copy me like you're yeah, also still dealing with your shit but people outside you they don't see that they don't see you dealing with anything in fact they feel like your life is perfect so that's why they're trying to copy everything you do 
which is why some of you are getting annoyed like it's like some of them also come to, up to tell you like oh you've got everything going on for you everything is working out for you your life is so perfect you have no worries and you're like <laughs> what if only you knew the half of it okay but spirits are saying um accept this compliment also see they are copying as a compliment just it as a compliment don't let it get you riled up yeah i know it can be annoying when you like <laughs> wear something and then the next day almost everybody's like they like a day <laughs> all right so and i'm also being told to tell you like no your mind is not playing tricks on you you guys have noticed it you've had like one two instances where you've seen people like i'm saying like maybe getting your type of haircut hairstyle um closing appearance the way you dress the way you walk and you're like okay what's up here <laughs> okay so no you're not going crazy that's actually what it is so this time um there's really nothing much straight to just tell you to like there's nothing for you to be worried about there's no need for you to start feeling some somehow or somewhere you guys might have this energy significant to your chat so maybe very good Taurus Capricorn energy significant you might also be someone who likes green or likes wearing green and you feel like your neighbors have noticed that about you because maybe like they always like comment or compliment you when you wear green items so spray is saying like <laughs> don't get distracted stop worrying about what it does not even you guys are going to be seeing nine 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 a lot i'm also being told to tell you like your house number may be 29 or 49 just to give you confirmation for this okay but there's something here around you just see again you are living poetry <laughs> you are living poetry so just accept the fact that you're amused and people look up to you your neighborhood there's nothing inside for some of you also you are being you're uncomfortable with that role because you feel like they are putting an impossible standard on you like you feel like all eyes on on you if you make a misstep your mistakes are going to be pronounced but it's not that so it's not that just see it as it being very complimentary okay your good energy is showing that's why people are trying to emulate it so it's very complimentary so celebrate your wins you might also be <laughs> Okay, that's funny. <laughs> okay, so because maybe in the past you feel you've maybe you've dressed in certain ways and then you've seen your neighbors copy what you wear exactly, it has made you want to kind of like dress more shabby or something. You know? Or maybe like they've complimented you, like, oh, this thing is so nice. Oh, I know it's very expensive. And that's made you, or maybe like, oh, your car is so expensive. And you feel like all attention is on you. And that's made you want to kind of like pipe down. No. Don't do that to yourself. <laughs> okay? Don't do that to yourself. They are seeing these things because they, because they are aspiring. So see it as you being an inspiration for them. You are in that neighborhood to serve as inspiration for them. So tap in and settle into it fully. Don't get distracted. Focus on what you're trying to do. You guys, I see like you might also be like working on building something. You're in a very creative space. You're working on building an asset, something that's going to grant you returns a lot of them. Uh, can I catch my breath, please, spirit? Thank you. <laughs> okay so i see you, you guys are you are creating something that's going to last a long time something that is going to be something like a legacy investment a legacy asset okay so i see you working on that so don't get distracted by like maybe people in your neighborhood talking about you saying like oh you're so expensive you have expensive taste you always look good blah, 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 blah. focus on your focus, focus on the main thing focus on focus okay focus on focus focus on the now you've also got the now focus on focus but don't one just one thing that's coming through is celebrate your wins but don't now let pride and arrogance come into you because then i'm confirming for you that you're not going crazy people actually loving what you do they are saying they're loving the people you're talking about but i'm also here like for some of you your neighbors might be like your colleagues and it's red so it's like maybe you spend more time at work 
or in your work environment so your colleagues are actually like your neighbors because you spend a lot more time with them okay so that energy is also coming through so if these are your colleagues so they are seeing you they're liking what you do they're copying what you do you guys may like green there's something about green coming through maybe you wear green a lot or you like you wear a lot of greens or you like green but you like your money too <laughs> But I see, yes, so spirit is saying just focus on what you're trying to do, focus on what you're trying to create. Okay, you guys may have us in ages so Virgo, Soros, Capricorn, significant here. Um, so as I was saying, um, before they're just bombarding me with so many things right now. But so, first thing is like your neighbors slash your colleagues, they be wanting to like celebrate you but they will not necessarily like say it out so you have to be the one to celebrate yourself but just be careful that you don't cross the line into prideful arrogance okay be careful you don't cross the line into prideful arrogance stay present on what you're doing stay focused on what you're doing stay focused on what you're creating stay focused on finishing your creations gathering your assets building your legacy okay my spirit is just saying like you're living poetry it's like spirit is happy to have you as an example of their masterpiece so see yourself as an example of god's living masterpiece okay so you cannot feel some way that people are trying to copy you or you have like copycat energy in your neighborhoods or amongst your colleagues this reading the film is to wrap it up like it's very very straight to the point <laughs> it's very very straight to the point any final message yes yeah, see you've earned all your stripes so what i say celebrate your wings chill where you need to flaunt what you have don't try to hold back again get out of the nostalgia focus on the year and now you have the now twice see previously you got the now and again focus on the year and now get out of nostalgia okay Get out of nostalgia, focus on the year and now. You guys may also be seeing, you will also be seeing, so I told you 299, right? Okay, um, you guys also be seeing 333s as well as 444s. So focus on the year and now. You've earned all your stripes. Every hurricane comes to an end. So as I said, you guys, they may see you as being very regal, very royal very with expensive tastes you dress good you look good you see you feel all this attention on you so don't get distracted by all of that stay honest with yourself okay stay very honest with yourself don't get as it's good it's just two messages just keep on coming through back on back don't get distracted with all the attention you're receiving focus on what you need to do focus on focus focus on the main thing focus on your grind focus on what you're trying to achieve okay you guys might also be feeling pulled to maybe buy flowers for yourself or you might also be getting flowers from your neighbors there's something here or maybe you also be visiting like a flower field or buying flowers there's just something about flowers that came through right now some of you might also just like um Find flowers at your doorstep. All right. And lastly, we are all just stardust. So as I said, see yourself as see yourself as God's masterpiece placed in the midst of your neighbors or your colleagues. So there's nothing for you to feel prideful or arrogant about. You had a creation of God. Okay, just be grateful that God has made you this way and not everybody else around you god has also made them this in different ways and everybody especially tell me what is like that telling me like, don't let all this attention get to you don't let all the attention get to your head because now i've confirmed it for you like the copycats in your new boat who are just feeling you they're like feeling you max max <laughs> but don't let it get into your head focus on what you need to do okay all right, my love. You guys will also be seeing 1331s, 333s, 444s, 999s, 222s. Okay, focus on what you need to do. Focus on the year and the now. Focus on the year and now. If you don't have an alarm clock or if you use an alarm, I'm saying like maybe getting an alarm clock out separate from your phone. Like an actual, you know, those cute round 
um, bedside alarm clocks. There's something about maybe it, maybe the alarm clock helping you to sleep better also because you take your digital devices out of your bedroom and what you have is just this analog alarm clock that just came through. You guys may be needing to go do some shopping for that, okay? All right, babe. I love you.